Hey guys, this is Shadow Drone. Welcome back. Um, I'm doing a quick video of my 3D printer updates. Um, a few things that uh, have changed as well as uh, I'm going into my one year, well actually two year um, usage on these two printers. Uh, these are both Solvos direct drive units. The top one of course is the Model 1 and the one on the bottom is the Model 2. Um, I've had some other questions from individuals asking me questions about filaments and uh, where to get these cases or if I built these cases. So I'm going to go ahead and answer those questions. Uh, yes, I did build these cases. Um, I was going to purchase some cases, but the price on buying them is ridiculous, number one. Um... And number two, you don't really get what you really want or really need. So yes, I did build these cases from scratch. Uh, they were built from wood, um, backing board, and the uh, glass is actually poster board plexiglass. So it's really thin because plexiglass is very expensive. And since it doesn't really require thick glass, just the ability to view and to keep it sealed to allow the vacuum to suck out the fumes. So yes, I did build these. Um, on another note, I will be adding another upgrade to my cases, but uh, I actually purchased these puck lights uh, before COVID and really just haven't had time to put them in. There's three per wiring harness and there's going to be three going into each uh, upper and lower once I decide to do this. It's with everything that's been going on, I've just kind of lost interest in a lot of stuff. Um, I still have a, a new drone that I'm building right now, which I just haven't really been able to get beyond um, the fr frame design and uh, uh, assembly. Um, so, you know, you kind of go through moments. So anyway, um, the reason why... Oh, and as far as filaments go, guys, um, I don't use any specific brand. I just use, uh, depending on the color... That I need and um, also the availability and cost. Now what I can say about these printers is that I've been able to use different brand names including the generics and I've really never had any issues, major issues with filaments except for um, uh, the, 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 the spools. In other words um, adhe adhesion, uh, no printer clogs, um, none of that stuff, even with brands that other people, you know, bag on saying that it, uh, jams up their printer. I just make sure that I stick to 1.75 with plus or minus two. Okay. I don't go about that. Um, so I've been pretty good on that as far as a flexible, uh, filament. I don't really print flexible filament, uh, because of the, the purposes that I use, I usually print with PLA and I can't remember what that other plastic was that I was using. It's the clear one where I was making the um, uh, LED housing covers. Uh, it's the next step up from PLA. I just don't remember what it is. Anyway, um, so what I did want to bring up is that um, one of the things about this company besides their customer service and their brilliant um, engineers that work with them um, over the last, I want to say two years, I've been looking into investing in a um, laser uh, engraving uh, device and something that also can print, um, Not, I'm sorry, engrave and cut. Well, it comes to find out, I came across, I just happened to be on their website, and they've come up with a new add-on that basically allows you to convert your 3D printer into a laser engraver as, as well as a cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and pan this over. And I, like I said, guys, I'm sorry about the uh, roughness of my videos, but I'm not out to make perfect videos. I'm just doing a basically project to make this work. All right, yeah, come on, stay tight here. Sorry guys. All right, so 
This right here is a $45 kit, okay, that I ordered from solvo.com. And um, basically, since I have been shopping for an engraver and uh, seeing all the different costs, uh, anything decent is three, four hundred dollars, okay? And then you also have to have a space for it to um, allow you to store it and stuff. And then, of course, I would have to build a case because when you're cutting indoors like wood or uh, plastic, you don't want the fumes floating around in here. So that would, you know, that much extra work. Um, I decided for 50 bucks, I would give it a shot. So this is the laser kit, engraving kit for a Solvo 3D printer. And it comes with laser goggles for safety. It comes with the laser, which you see here. Okay, this is the laser. And um, it has magnetic mounts on it. Okay, as you can see here. And um, the way it works is it's actually pretty cool. The laser plugs into the fan connector inside the 3D printer and allows you to operate on and off the laser via the fan controls on the screen. Okay, it also comes with some test plywood, okay, and instructions. Now, based on what I've seen online, it works quite well. Um, the only thing that bugs me about this is the fact that you have to open up the bottom of your printer every time you want to plug this in because you have to unplug the, the, the fan and plug this in and vice versa. Um, I may work on a Y cable, which has a, a connector for the fan and then has another separate lead that comes out and is on the outside of the printer with a port that I can just plug the laser in that way. Um, this way, the fan would still be working. You basically be turning the laser on and off at the same time as the fan, but that really doesn't really make a difference because the laser will still cut and it will still... Um, burn even though the fan's going okay uh lasers are not uh basically affected by wind okay um or i may just do a separate power supply so um that's going to be another project uh to play with but i wanted to share this uh which is uh, a brilliant idea um, the company, like I said, has definitely gone above and beyond. Um, I would recommend the Solvo brand to you, pretty much anybody for your first printer and including uh, if you're an advanced printer and you're looking for another printer. Solvo seems to be doing really well. Um, they've come out with a couple more models now. Um, they're just getting better. Um, like I said, I've had no regrets whatsoever and uh, even considering the Solvo was my first printer. Um, after doing all the research, um, I came to the conclusion that was my best option for a beginner, and that was over two years ago, and I've never looked back. And like I said, I purchased a version 2, and if I ever need another one, I'll probably end up getting their version 3 and version 4. But at the moment, two printers are working just fine for what I need them to do. Um, for anyone looking into getting into 3D printing, uh, one thing I have learned is that it takes a lot of patience um, and trial and error until you can get them working perfectly. I do recommend if you do as much printing as I do or, you know, for projects, uh, you may want to invest in more than just one printer. Uh, for me, two printers work fine because they do take time to print parts. And um, that's one of the other reasons why I ordered a second printer because I got tired of it, it would take too long to print parts, and this way I can print parts, two separate um, projects at the same time, cutting my um, printing time literally in half. So two works great for me. 
Eventually, I may get a third one, but not right now. Anyway, um, if you have any other questions regarding this or you want any more details about how I built the cases, feel free to ask. Um, the cases were quite simply built um, using pine. I used uh, two by twos for the uprights and uh, uh, quarter inch plywood for the uh, upper and lower sheets. And then the back, sh uh, the back plate is basically uh, the pegboard and it was covered with uh, plastic wrap in the back to make it airtight. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it doesn't take, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then as far as the glass plating goes, it was one millimeter um, poster glass, plexiglass that you buy on those posters. And I adhered them with uh, two-way silicone tape. So that made them airtight too. So, and then I put a, uh, a seal around the door. So it's pretty simple. You know, it's nothing ingenious. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, uh, thanks for watching my channel, guys. And uh, like I said, I apologize. My videos aren't perfect. <laughs> like some of these guys out there making perfect videos with perfect cutting and stuff. But to me, it's more about getting the information out. So, um, anyway. Well, take care of yourselves, guys. Be safe. Fly safe. Enjoy the hobby. And, uh... Stay out of the way of COVID. Take care. Bye-bye.